Good day, it's Derek from 4x4 Adventure WA. It's a pretty good day today. We're in uh, Reef Beach Dunes. Uh, actually, Reef Beach is in Bremer Bay. Uh, it's a look, I mean, look at this view. It's a beautiful spot and uh, it's a huge dune system in here as well. I mean, look at around you. It's just okay. Anyway, we are here to show you mainly my new set of tires so once again I've gone to my local tire dealer um, house tires and they've been doing a fantastic job working out Look my at this uh, beauty it looks perfect it's great So this is Goodyear Wrangler uh, Dura Track. So it is uh, apparently it is a 70% off-road, 30% on-road tire. The main reason I've chosen this tire is because of the um, protection to the rim, and it prevents the sand or dirt from going into the rim. Um, and obviously, in turn, it prevents um, air leaks. Uh, doesn't matter how good the tires are. Most importantly, come this way, is the need to deflate your tires. And uh, the pressure is in response to the weight of the car. So if your car is lighter, the pressure is lower. So better footprint, better flotation. So as you can see, uh, just now I've um, obviously, it was not that easy to climb up this little uh, little hill. It's quite a steep hill, I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera, but um, I was at, I've lowered the tire pressure a little bit and it has made the climb possible, otherwise I wouldn't have made this climb. Uh, it would be even better to lower them a little bit more, um, that would have been a lot easier. And keep in mind the pressure actually um, uh, is different in each car. Uh, my friend's cruiser can, can run a little bit of a higher pressure because the car is a little bit heavier. And uh, I, I reckon my car is probably lighter and it requires a lower pressure to, to obtain the same footprint. Ladies and gentlemen, this was where the adventure began. Reef Beach WA and then we slowly work our way to Fitzgerald River National Park through Bremer Beach. Before you go four-wheel driving, you need to understand four-wheel driving is a very dangerous activity. You will never underestimate four-wheel driving, even though you're only driving on sand track. This is a prime example of it. We were trying to find an exit on Reef Beach Dunes. The end of the track can barely fit one vehicle. So in other words, Mary with the cruiser needed to reverse. But if this reverse wasn't done carefully, it could mean the whole cruiser rolling down into this valley. So we thought maybe just get myself turned around first and then uh, hook up his winch just in case anything goes wrong.
Well, things were not quite going according to plan. Um, the sand was quite soft and a little bit off cambered. Um, it was a little bit hard to decide where to go. Um, the traction was limited. Uh, you can't really go up the slope and you can't really turn around. Uh, it was quite a challenge. So, this is what we did. A bit of a predicament here. Uh, the sand is pretty soft. It uh, tires us. Want to go straight? So what we are trying to do is straighten up the cruiser first. Um, it's trying to reverse uh, a little bit quicker this way. And hopefully, hopefully you'll be all right. That was a scary attempt. I myself, I didn't want to risk it. Um, I mean, it is quite a long way down there, so I, um, I really want to do a three-point turn. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, that's what that's what I did. Eventually, we got unstuck, found a way, and quickly pressed on to Fitzgerald River National Park. In the past, we came across a couple of flexi sections. Um, anyway, it was good fun. Um, not too difficult, but it was pretty fun. To tackle this type of terrain, uh, with a little bit of rocks there and a little bit of erosion on the surface, apart from deflating your tires to the right pounds. You also have to minimize your wheel speed, steady throttle and very accurate wheel placement. And that way you sort of preserve the tracks and um, everyone can come here to enjoy. So not long after we left uh, Reeve Beach, we arrived Bremer Bay. And the map took us to a beach behind Bremer Bay uh, or more commonly known as Bremer Beach, is a very deceptively uh, easy beach to drive on because it all started with a very hard surface. Uh, most people didn't deflate, uh, deflate the tires and enter the beach. And eventually the beach becomes very soft to drive on. And that's how a couple of people uh, got bogged uh, on the chassis. Uh, it's pretty good that we demonstrate our knowledge and our equipments, uh, recovery techniques as well. So they they came out okay. It was all good. And once again, we uh, we've demonstrated the importance of deflating tire pressure uh, on a sandy beat. This type of touring is amazing because you get you can literally get anything you can think of. Beachmans, gravel tracks, sandy beaches, or even mud pits. To get to the national park, we have to drive through this uh, shortcut which is a less maintained gravel track. I've gotta admit that was heaps of fun, but um, very importantly, 
we do have to respect the environment, avoid worsening the challenges. Uh, stay away from water if you can, uh, but if you do have no choice, put your lockers on, minimize your wheel spin, avoid re repeated attempts if you get stuck, and get someone to pull you out. And that way, not only you will Nicely have fun, done. but also anyone after you will have fun. Alright, so this is basically a fee collection station in Fitzgerald River National Park. Um, and there's obviously heaps of corrugated gravel rolls ahead. So be careful, be deflate your tires to appropriate air pressure and uh, save your vehicle suspension. Today, using a barbecue plate as a platform, the ring burner on top, and then we're using this. I don't know what you call this, uh, but it's pretty useful. And we are basically having a fire and barbecuing a steak, Angus beef. Awesome, lovely, beautiful camp spot. Wife making me sell it. Nothing can be better, I. Eh? Good morning, this is the last day of our Fitzgerald River National Park adventure. Uh, so this morning we're basically having a very simple breakfast um, using our rain burner and a bit of a camper oven, but we use it as a bit of a stove and uh, frying pan. Um, so, canned food is very convenient. Uh, when you go camping, it's your friend. So this is basically a bit of casserole that you can buy from local supermarket. Um, and also, you can't go camping without a bake without some baked beans. Um, they are just so convenient. Just heat it up and you know eat them. All right, see you soon. Oh. Lots of flies in here, and we are both feeling very annoyed. Uh, welcome to uh, this place is called Coin Head. It's a human access beach. You drive all the way down here um, to see this beautiful scenery. 
and uh, the drive is actually uh, it was pretty straightforward as a start and then it all became very very tricky um, uh, this place is called Quain Head uh, in Fitzgerald National Park Fitzgerald River National Park uh, it is a really really highly maintained spot uh, I mean you can probably tell from looking at the stairs uh, this beach is just clean no rubbish at all no tire tracks only footprints but, uh, and it's a really really awesome spot to, eat, to be here for I suppose the only problem is look at how many flies you can you can get around here this is absolutely crazy and uh, far out the winds as well apparently it's going to be a lot more windy tonight uh, the good thing is we're actually leaving back in Albany tonight uh, so after this there is a very very high chance that we'll go back to Albany and uh, have a good rest tonight concludes this trip in Fitzgerald River National Park. Um, if you have made this far, thank you very much. I know it is a long video, lots of talking involved, uh, but if you have made it to this point, that means you're at some point enjoying my video content. If you do, leave me a comment, subscribe my channel, smash the like and uh, notify bell button. Last but not least, all the best in year 2021.